So Power World has finally released their first big patch update where they supposedly fixed a lot of bugs in the game and stuff that was wrong. Now in this video, I'm going to be going over exactly what they changed and we're going to be testing some stuff out to see if it's actually changed, if it's better, or if it's still the same. And as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. So some of the things they fixed is they fixed it where your game would crash under certain conditions. Now they didn't really say what conditions those were, but I'm assuming they mean like random crashes. They also fixed an issue where players were able to catch other players tamed pals i didn't even know that was a thing but apparently it was they fix it to where if you're fighting a pal and he charges at you he will not get stuck in the wall anymore i know that was an issue sometimes for me as well they also fixed an issue where the game would crash and then your saved data would be corrupted so uh, apparently that shouldn't happen anymore, but they're still trying to tweak some stuff with that. So if you're still crashing and you're getting a corrupted files, then uh, just you have to give them a little bit longer for them to fully fix it. Now for player issues, they fixed an issue where players on dedicated servers and co-op were receiving damage twice. I'm assuming that means when you're fighting pals, uh, sometimes you would take double the amount of damage instead of just taking one hit from it. So they did fix that. They changed it to where if you exceed the weight limit, then you'll still be able to move, but very slowly. So so we're actually going to test that now because I am collecting some ore because I need to get more ingots. So let's get encumbered and see if we can move. Okay, so I'm carrying a thousand pounds out of 900. Now, normally you will not be able to move once you're carrying too much. But after the update, apparently you can still move very slowly. No matter how encumbered you are, you will always be able to walk this slow. So this is actually really good. So you don't have to drop anything as long as you're patient enough to get where you need to go walking this slowly then uh, yeah, it's definitely a good thing because now even when you're encumbered, you could still make it back to the base. Uh, they fixed issues where if you were to dismount a pal, you will not go into the wall anymore. They fixed the issues with the memory reset drug. I know there's a lot of problems with that, but that is fixed now. I will go over how that works in possibly the next video. They adjusted the camera positions for a lot of pals, the ones that you mount, just to make it more easier to see. Okay, so now these are the changes that they made towards your base. This one is the possibly one of the most important for me, especially if you like to breathe breed your pals they said they change it to where pals who are manually assigned to the breeding farm will not become hungry and their manual assignments will not be removed so what i'm assuming this means is once you assign a pal to the breeding farm they will stop running out of the farm to go get food that was only always a major problem for me they will always run out of it to go get food every time i'm trying to get them to breed so we're going to test that out right now okay so what we're going to do is we're going to grab our pal here oh they also changed the button to lift your pals because a lot of people were doing it by accident that's why it wasn't working for me just now. So we're going to assign them to the breeding farm. Okay, they have been assigned. Now we're going to assign someone else. And then we're going to assign this guy to the breeding farm. His food is about halfway. So let's throw him on. He is officially assigned to it. And they should stay in this area and they should not wander out for food. As far as I know, it's going pretty good because this one been in here for at least five minutes and she has not left the area. And the breeding is happening pretty fast. I mean, maybe I should actually put some cakes because I do have some cakes in my uh, thing. Oh, another quick tip. If you want to save your cakes, then just keep them in the grill after you cook them. They do not spoil. If you take them out, you got to put them in a freezer. Sadly, we had to take five of them out. So we're going to put them in here. When they are in the breeding thing, though, they do not go down. The timer does not go down. It stays at 20 minutes. So they should be good in there anyway. And then, yeah, they're going to breed and they don't get hungry. They're literally staying in there. That is so amazing. Thank you, pal devs, for doing this. That was one of the most annoying things is having them always run out to get some food. It would halt the breeding process. They reduce the speed and the range of fire spreading within your base. So I did this in like a YouTube short where if you have, let's say, walls like these, but they're wooden, or if you have a wooden base, if something were to catch fire, it will literally spread to every piece of wood you have connected to it. So they actually slowed that down so it doesn't spread as fast. So it gives you and your pals time to actually get rid of the fire. They fixed an issue where manual work assignments could not be set at all under certain circumstances. I think what they mean by that is if you try to lift up a pal and you let's say you want to set him at this cooking pot right here, and it'll say no work found or like can't be assigned. Uh, they fixed that. So that should be no issues now. They added several measures to prevent your base pals from getting stuck. They fixed an issue where pals would get stuck while transporting items and then would drop them on the spot. Fixed an issue where pals at your base would sometimes float 
And they fix an issue where if a farm was built on the second floor, work pals were unable to get to the second floor. So that should be fixed. They added in more measures to stop players from cheating and stealing other players' pals, which again, I still didn't even know you can do that. And those are some of the major changes that they made within this update. If you guys are excited and you're happy with the direction the game is going, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you hope to see next in the next patch update. Oh, and look, they finally dropped an egg. I mean, they're literally both dark types and that one's a dark and fire type, but yet I got a damn large frozen egg. So uh, I guess I'll take it. Make sure you guys subscribe if you want to keep up to date with more news and content like this. And thank you guys for watching.